when I think about it, I'm like, bro, when you, when I look at the heavyweights, heavy heavyweight boxers, of, seriously, I cannot believe that flying knee actually just freaking rocked me. Bro. Sit down, sit down, boy. All righty. Kelvin Gastelum set to face Sean Brady in the main event. Thank you. See what we can do here against Mr. Anderson, the Spider Silva. I'm probably going to end up, yeah, he just threw a kick. I was about to say, I'm probably going to end up taking this guy down, and he literally just gifted me that takedown. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. I feel like the version of Kelvin Gastelum that faced... No. The, the version of Kelvin Gastelum that faced Uriah Hall in that uh, Ultimate Fighter match, you know, the Kevin, the Kevin Gastelum that was, you know, very grapple heavy. Not, not really just grapple heavy, but he's stuck here for a minute. He's stuck here for a minute. Gotta get out, get out, get out, get out. There we go. Get it. He denied it. I love, I love bailing on that when they're about to go to. When they're about to roll and give up their back, bail on that, enter the back. It's typically a, a sneaky way for me to for me to enter that rear naked choke, but this guy denied it very well. But then the arm bar is right there. Let's enter that arm bar. See what I can do here. He's the one that's doing this right now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Got himself in trouble. Got himself in some serious trouble. But yeah, man, the version of Kelvin that was mixing it up very well, striking, pin against the cage, takedown, just a very good mixture of striking and grappling. I think that's the most dangerous version of Kelvin Gastelum. And then at some point, he kind of lost that. I mean, he's always been a good boxer, but I think I think he might have fallen in love with boxing a little bit too much. And he kind of just lost that. Hold on a sec. You got to move, sir. You got to move. Denied, denied, denied. You got to fake it. There we go. Wow. Okay. It will take one more for me to submit Anderson Silva. That is okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. Anderson Silva was submitted by Rio Chonin. He pretty much dove into the legs and got him with an inside heel hook. <laughs> it was brutal, bro. It was brutal. Anderson Silva just, he had no idea how to get out of that, which makes sense. The amount of Brazilians that have fallen to heel hooks... I can't even begin to tell you. If you watch jujitsu, bro, you see these guys just get leg locked. Well, then again, they don't get leg locked as, as much as Sambo guys. It's, it's, <laughs> Sambo guys, man, they get leg locked. Anytime you see them face a jujitsu practitioner, especially one that knows how to leg lock, they just get, they just get their legs taken, bro. It happens so many times. But yeah, Sanderson Silva in that fight, he just, he had no clue how to get out of it. And I believe at the time, I don't know if he was it was a black if he was a black belt yet. I don't know, but the leg lock technology, you know, has just blown out of control recently. But years and years and years ago, you could find multiple black belts who genuinely like they knew what a heel hook is, of course, and they know what ankle locks are, they know what they know all the different types of heel hooks, right? The inside heel hook, the outside heel hook, you know, the Achilles locks, the Aokis, they know all that. The knee bars, you know, they, they know it. They know it all, but they're like, they know of it. Okay. Okay. Don't start, bro. Don't start. Don't start because this fight's going to get real bad real soon. Okay. Yeah, these guys, you know, they know of the submissions, but in terms of like really understanding it, they just didn't because for a very long time it was actually frowned upon um 
a lot a lot of the old old you know jujitsu specifically brazilian jujitsu black belts they always looked at leg locks as cheating you know it's like hey you know you you went for the leg lock because your jujitsu sucks <laughs> that's why you're going for leg locks if your jujitsu was good you would not need to attack the lower body which of course like now we all know that's just complete bullshit but there we go that was the um sitting down that was a narrative that's why adcc lachlan giles man if you guys have not those of you that are you know fans of grappling fans of jujitsu definitely go check out lachlan giles his run at adcc I believe this was ADCC 2019 or 2018. I'm forgetting exactly which one it was, but Lachlan Giles defeated a bunch of heavyweight black belts. Heavyweight Brazilian black belts. There we go. Sit him down. Hey, man, that's the kind of fight you want. Leg lock these guys, man, using K guard 50 50, bro. <laughs> K guard into backside 50. They roll into 50 50. He goes inside heel hook boom they tap he just did it over and over and over again he debuted his you know debuted that kgar system in that in that tournament and then of course everybody starts studying kgar and now kgar barely works because everybody knows about it but still man it's it was fascinating watching and then he fights gordon ryan and tries to do the same thing to gordon ryan and gordon takes his back and chokes him out <laughs> you know what i mean it just shows you man it's like it's Sit him down. It's not about, oh, you suck at jujitsu if you do leg locks. It's like a, a black belt, it's supposed to be proficient everywhere, everywhere the match goes, bro. There we go. Just like everything else, man, the quality of the elites have. Imp improved drastically. I think maybe boxing, especially in the heavyweight division, I think boxing might be the only technology that as time has passed, they've probably gotten worse. Like, that shit that happened with Tyson Fury and Ready Francis and Ganu. I, I don't know if Francis would be able to be competitive with heavyweight boxers of old. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. And I love Francis, but could he be competitive like that against uh, Tyson, Muhammad Ali in his prime? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe. But when I think about it, I'm like, bro, when you, when I look at the heavyweights, heavy, heavyweight boxers of... Oh, seriously, I cannot believe that flying knee actually just freaking rocked me. Bro. Sit down. Sit down, boy. It's okay. This fight doesn't really mean much to me. I'm, I'm just using it as a means to just talk about what I want to talk about. I'm probably going to just submit this guy again. He denied it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Second time's a charm. Right into the rear choke. Goodbye. Yeah. So, heavyweight boxers up to... It, it, like, boxing is just the one martial arts that I think as time has passed. But specifically for the heavyweight division. Maybe for other weight classes also but it's glaring for the heavyweight division like as time has passed i feel like those guys have gotten worse but every other martial arts you take a look at um the technology has only improved jujitsu wrestling um judo just all of them it's it's it keeps improving mma mixed martial arts is a technology and i think fighters of today are significantly better than fighters of a few years back you know what i'm saying so that's just the way that's just the way it goes and the fighters of the next generation will even be better 
These guys are starting so much younger. They have so much access to information with instructionals and just, just so much info. There, is, there are no secrets anymore, bro. There are literally no secrets. So I think that's a really, really good thing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that first fight. If you did, you know exactly what to do. Leave a like on the video. Um, let's get one more. Poatan. Poatan, Poatan, Poatan. Come on. Sorry, Poatan, but I am not going to be standing with you, bro. I don't even know who this player is. But I am not going to be standing with you, especially because you're already starting to kick me in the belly. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, a, give me that head. Give me that head. Pause. We're, we're, we're giving you the full Calvin Gastelum treatment today. No. That was quick. That was fast. Are you going to move again? Or sit there and let me onbar you? He sat there and let me get the first one off. Hey, it's not going to take three like Anderson Silva, bruh. It's not going to take three. Do not let me get you in another submission. Nope. Nice is deny. That's a good sign. No. Get him out. Arm triangle. This is not good. Deny it, bro. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> he left. Hey. That's, you got to get better at that, man. You have to get better at that. But um, there you have it, man. We're going to end it right here. I, I don't want to use Calvin Gastelum too much. Plus, it's not freaking easy finding with the way these divisions are right now, dude. And you can't you can't back out more than three times at this at this point, or you get sent to jail for 30 minutes. So it's it, it, I'm I'm that's it. That is it. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are fantastic. If you enjoyed the the video, leave a like on it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the matches later today. As always, stay safe, boys. Peace out. Have a good one.